Okay, we're going to talk about how we write alleles. When we're writing alleles, we always represent them with letters. So let's see how it is. So we have a gene here. It's just kind of this piece. We're going to talk about exactly what they are next week. But we have this gene. This gene is going to be coding for the color of the fish. Okay? We're going to have a blue fish and we're going to have a red fish. Okay? So in this instance, we're going to say that the blue fish is dominant. Okay, so if we end up with a blue fish, this is the dominant allele. The red fish is going to be the recessive allele. Okay, now what we've been learning in the lesson is that when we have a dominant allele, that letter always has to be capitalized. We have to choose a letter to represent this color trait, not to represent blue, not to represent red, but to represent the fact that this gene is coding for a color, okay? We can pick any letter we want, A, B, C, D, all the way to Z. It doesn't matter. Normally what's done is you take the dominant gene and you pick the first letter of that, okay? In this instance, blue is dominant. So we could say that B, capital B, is going to code for a blue fish. Now. We also know that lowercase means recessive. So does that mean we would write a, a little lowercase r for, re for the red? No. It's coding for color. We have to use the same letter. So it has to be a B. Well, it can't be a capital B because that would mean dominant blue. To get the recessive red, we have to make it a lowercase b. Okay? We could never be... This dominant blue could never be a little b. This recessive red could never be either a capital B or a capital R or a little r if we've decided that B is going to be for blue. So what you have to always make sure of is that you figure out the trait, you choose one letter, it does not matter what letter it is, whatever the dominant form of that trait is will be your capital letter, Whatever your recessive form of that trait is will be that same letter, but lowercase every time. 